Hi guys, so in this video, we are going to learn about the species extinction. So, before we proceed with our discussion proper, let us uh, define what is a species extinction. When we say species extinction, it is the death of the last member of the species, okay? Meaning to say, uh, the last member of that species has come to his end, okay? Nagkakaroon na ng termination dun sa number ng species na meron na yon, okay? Like for example is the dinosaur. Kapag ang dinosaur namatay at nawala, nawala na lahat ng dinosaur, dun yung tinatawag nating extinct nawala na sila okay it means that there is no surviving member to reproduce animals and plants have always had a hard time surviving just like humans di ba mahirap mag-survive nowadays uh, sa dami ba naman ng tao dito sa mundo uh, at uh, mga kailangan natin uh, the basic need ng mga tao is pagkain maraming mga namamatay sa pagkain okay so animals became extinct in the past for the wide variety of reasons okay so another example is uh, the dinosaur bakit nga ba na, eh, nagiging, naging extinct ang mga dinosaur or bakit nga ba nasabi natin na nag exist ang mga dinosaur kasi nga uh, dahil sa pagdidiscover ng mga scientist uh, they are able to find that there is an existence of the dinosaur dahil may mga fossils na naiwan ito. Okay, ang fossils, ito yung mga footprints, yung mga uh, naiwang mga remains ng mga tao noon. Okay? Or yung mga dinosaurs noon. So, dahil sa mga fossils na yon, they are able to conclude that nag-exist ang mga dinosaurs before. Okay? Now, uh, there are different causes of extinction. So, the two major envir environmental factors are the first, competition among species and the second is the habitat change and destruction. In competition, like for example, sa tiger, kapag ang tigre nawalan ng mga pagkain yung mga yan, syempre maghahanap sila ng ibang pagkain. So, kapag wala na silang makain, at tigre na lamang ang natitira dun sa isang specific area. Magkakompete yung mga yan para humanap ng pagkain. At syempre, kapag may iisa lamang na pagkain at dalawa silang mga predator, syempre, magpapatayan muna yung dalawang tigre yun para makuha nila yung pagkain na yun. So, in that way, namamatay yung isa at yung isa lang ang mag -e exist Next is the habitat change. Kapag nagbago ang ang climate change at nag adapt din ang mga animals uh, ang climate change kasi nakaka-apekto din sa pamumuhay ng mga animals which means uh, kapag ka halimbawa dun sa North Pole kapag ang North Pole is na, na melt yung glacier syempre kawawa yung mga polar bear doon saan na sila magtitira kasi syempre in that way in, they, they are not able they, can, they cannot afford to live sa mga may init na uh, surroundings or environment whereas kapag kaganoon ang nangyari maaari ma silang mamatay next is destruction so disasters are the main cause of destruction okay kapag nagkaroon ng destruction sa atin o society or sa ating environment there are uh, rapid or uh, it is also a factor that causes the extinction of species, okay? Next is the interaction with other organisms. In all kinds of environment, organisms compete for limited resources. If a, specific, if a species competitor evolves superior adaptation and the species does not evolve fast to keep up with the competitors, the species become extinct. So that's it. Kapag ka hindi ka talaga naka-adapt sa iyong environment at saka at uh, hindi mo na kaya, hindi na kaya ng isang species yung uh, abrupt change or yung tinatawag nating uh, adaptation, syempre maaari siyang mamatay. So kapag namatay na siya, we can say na this specific species is extinct. Okay? Now, the habitat change and destruction are caused by human activities. Okay? So, aside from human activities, it is also caused by disasters. A species diversity can be devastated due to the loss of tropical forests, 
when there is a loss of tropical forest at kapag na okay nawala yung tropical forest we all know that tropical forest or forests are habitat for the different species syempre kapag halimbawa na sunog yon or bumagyo or halimbawa na putol ang lahat ng mga puno doon syempre saan nga ba titira yung mga animals syempre pupunta sila sa, sa lamang, pupunta sila sa mga kabahayan natin at kapag pumunta sila they may cause uh, harm to human halimbawa yung ahas na cobra pumunta sa silong ng bahay mo ngayon kapag ka o pumunta sila sa bahay, puma, pu, pumasok sila sa bahay mo. Siyempre, um, ano maaaring mangyari? Siyempre, they can harm human. Maaari nila, maaari silang mga gat or they can uh, cost uh, untowards incidents. Okay? So, dahil doon, siyempre, kapag kalimbawa nangyari yung ganong mga eksena, uh, papatayin ng tao yung mga animals. So, in that way, maaaring maging extinct yung mga animals. Next is the deforestation is one example of human activity that greatly affects the population of the organisms. That's it. So, when we deforest or kapag pinutol la natin lahat ng mga punong kahoy, syempre, uh, walang habitat yung mga animals. Wala silang titirhan. Wala silang magiging source o wala silang pag-uunan ng kanilang mga pagkain. At kapag nangyari ang mga gayon, they are able to migrate from other place. So, halimbawa nito is kapag uh, pumunta sila sa mga syudad. Okay? Kapag napunta na sila sa syudad, ang syudad kasi, it is polluted, pol polluted. and kapag ganun ang nangyari, maaari silang hindi maka-adapt at maaari silang mamatay. Okay? So, in that way, nababawasan yung number of species na meron sila at kapag nabawasan yun maaari itong uh, uh, mag-result sa species extinction okay now uh, one of the several factors that affects the species extinction is the natural and human causes okay natural factors causes lower lower extinction rate than human factors that's it kasi disasters uh kayang i-adapt yan ng mga animals but, um, animals and plant but, humans cannot hindi, kasi ang humans uh, we, uh, maraming mga tao dito sa mundo at hindi lamang lang naman iisa ang nag-destruct or nag-destroy sa ating environment maraming mga tao ang nag-destroy whereas uh, tayo mismo yung main cause kung bakit nagkakaroon ng species extinction so Species extinction caused by humans are considered to be the recent phenomena. Bakit? Kasi we are the main contributors. Kasi due to the climatic heating and cooling, acid rain, changes in the sea level, diseases and epidemic, asteroid or cosmic rays, spread of invasive, invasive species, overpopulation, pollution, overexploitation, and deforestation, tayo mismo yung mga gumagawa nito, we are the contributors di sa ating environment. So, like for example, so climatic heating and cooling, paano? Pa pa paano umiinit ang ating environment? Kasi, because of the vehicles that was emitted emitted by our, uh, that because of the gas emitted by our vehicles. Okay, kapag ka nag-emit ng halimbawa ng gas yung vehicle natin, it is the carbon monoxide and it is bad for the environment. Next is the acid rain. Paano nagkakaroon ng acid rain? It is because of it is because of the over accumulation of components in the atmosphere. Yung mga gases compounds ay nagre-react sa ating nagre-react dun sa atmosphere at it cost uh the uh, high acidity of the uh, acidity of the rainfall okay so next is the change in the sea level and currents so dahil sa init ng panahon nagkakaroon nag nag nagkakaroon ng pagbabago ng sea level and currents okay bakit ah uh, kasi dahil sa init ng panahon na melt yung glaciers dun sa north pole at nag kapag na-melt ang glaciers ng North, North, North Pole, nag-increase yung volume of water na meron dun sa sea level at nagkakaroon ng changes in the sea level. Just like now, ang nangyayari is yung mga areas na hindi nababa, nababaha noon ay nababaha na ngayon. Kasi nga, uh, nagkakaroon ng increase ng volume of water na meron sa ating sea. 
Next is the epidemic or the diseases. Yes, these are the primary, uh, I can say that these are the primary factors that affect the species extinction. Why? Because due to the epidemic and some diseases, uh, it can, okay, it can make or it would result to species extinction. Kasi nga, dahil sa mga diseases, alam natin na maraming mga namamatay. Next is the asteroid or cosmic rate. Bakit nagkakaroon ng asteroids and cosmic rates? Kasi nga, because of the uh, uh, manipulation of the humans in our atmosphere or in our world today. Okay? Bakit nagkaroon ng spread of invasive species? Kasi, uh, sinisira natin yung uh, habitat ng mga animal. At kapag nasira yung mga habitat nila, ang result nito, yung mga animals is pumupunta sila sa urban places, okay? Or sa ating community. Okay? Next is overpopulation. Kapag nag-overpopulation kasi, syempre, kapag karon ng overpopulation, maraming mga mga kailangan. Okay? Kailangan, ng na kailangan natin lahat ng maraming mga resources. Okay? Now, ang maapektuhan is uh, the plants and animals. Doon sa may forest kasi, doon, like for example, uh, kailangan natin magsaka ng marami. Ang ginagawa ng iba ay sinisira nila yung ating mountain para pagsakahan. Ngayon, anong mga maaring mangyari? Kapag nasira ang mountain, maputol lahat ang puno. Kapag naputol ang lahat ng puno, walang pagtitirahan ang mga uh, pagtitirahan ang mga ibon at mga animals. And that way, nagkakaroon ng uh, invasive species. Okay? Next is pollution. Yan na naman. Paulit-ulit. So, they are all interrelated to each other. Next is the climatic heating and cooling. Okay? So, uh, katulad yun ang sinabi ko kanina, uh, species are not used to severe weather condition and long season. Okay? Ang katulad, kat they are, they fail to adapt to the harsh new condition of the environment. Katulad ng nabanggit ko kanina about dung sa polar bear, kapag halimbawa na melt yung, uh, yung glaciers doon, syempre wala na silang pagtitirahan. They cannot adapt or they cannot afford to live sa mainit na places. Next is the changes in the sea level. Okay? So, uh, another example of the, is the melting of the fresh water. The, dense, the denser, saltier water sinks f and form the current that marine's life depends on, okay? A small spread of rise of ocean floor may displace water on the land and occupied by organisms. Katulad niya ng sinabi ko kanina. Okay, maaaring kapag na-melt yung uh, kapag na-melt yung two, yung mga glaciers dun si, sa North and South Pole, maaaring mag-increase ng volume of water at yung mga dating tinitirhan ng mga organisms ay maaaring ma-occupy ng water. Okay? Next is the asteroid or cosmic rays. Okay? It is a uh, radiation being emitted from the outer space and the sun. Too much exposure to this radiation can mutate genes, thus weakening the species gene pool. So, bakit uh, radiation ang main cause ng cancers? Okay, ang cancers kasi, kapag halimbawa, may naalis na, is, may naalis na specific gene or DNA or specific uh, gene dun sa ating G DNA at kapag nag-mutate ito it can cost uh, it can cost what? it can cost cancers or diseases okay? at kapag nagkaroon ng ganun uh, babagal ngayon yung pag-reproduce or magiging uh, magiging gradual yung pag-reproduce or uh, pag-reproduce ng species na yun at maaaring ikamatay din nito okay? next is the acid rain. Acid rain is formed when sulfur dioxide or nitrogen oxide are put into the atmosphere. Okay? Ito na, ta ito na kanina yung sinasabi kong reaction of the gaseous component na meron sa ating atmosphere. So, it is caused by the sulfur dioxide and the nitrogen oxide. Saan ba nga ba nanggagaling sa mga, ang mga, ang mga sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide? So, nagagaling yan sa smoke coming from the factories and not just factories but it is from the smoke coming from the vehicles okay 
So, dahil sa ganun, acid rain, syempre kapag nagkaroon ng high acidity levels sa ating atmosphere, syempre babagsak yun sa lupa at maaring mag-harm sa mga animals and plants natin. Next is the disease or epidemic. So, species has defense mechanism but with the changing climates, certain species lose their ability to fight diseases. Yun na nga ang sinasabi ko kanina. Okay? Spread of this invasive species. Okay? So, uh, to summary or to sum up, environment changes due, due to the either natural cause or human activities. In response to the changes, population of organism may, ad may either adapt, migrate, or ex become extinct. So, two major factors are the competition among species and habitat change and destruction. So, I hope that you have learned something about the species uh, extinction or the main cause of the species extinction so for me as i reflect humans are the primary contributors kung bakit nawawala yung mga ibang species kapag kasi nawalang ibang mga species maaaring maging imbalance ang ating ecosystem whereas kapag magiging imbalance ang ating ecosystem hindi niya mas hindi ito masusustain okay hindi it is not sustainable ibig sabihin Uh, magkakaroon ng kakulungan kakulangan at kasobrahan okay, magiging sobra kapag hindi maging balance uh, syempre, it may result to some untowards uh, or unnecessary or it may result to some harmful effect okay, so I hope that you have learned something today so, uh, now I want you to comment down the things that you have learned from this module okay thank you very much for watching guys